Imagine yourself sitting in the stands, surrounded by the roar of engines, the smell of burnt rubber, and the energy of thousands of fans cheering on their favorite drivers. This is the world of Ferrari racing, and I'm about to show you the very best it has to offer. Hold on tight, because I'm going to reveal the shocking story of how one moment on the racing track ended the entire career of the beloved Ferrari model. And trust me, it's a story that'll leave you sad. But that's not all. I'll also reveal how a famous Ferrari driver shot the whole world with a single race, making headlines around the globe and securing his place in history. And speaking of history, I'll show you which Ferrari race car holds the record for the highest number of wins ever recorded. But let's not forget about the most beautiful racing car in the history of Ferrari. I'll reveal the car that has captured the hearts and imaginations of fans worldwide with its sleek curves and stunning design. So get ready, as I'm going to take you on a journey that will be filled with drama, intrigue, and heart-stopping moments. These Ferrari race cars have left their mark on history, and we're going to show you why they are the greatest of all time. Number 8. Ferrari 246 Dino F1 On a hot summer day in 1958, the world of racing witnessed a spectacle like no other. The French Grand Prix at Reims was about to begin, and the air was electric with anticipation. The race started, and leading the pack was the Ferrari 246 Dino F1. On that fateful day in 1958, the Ferrari 246 Dino F1 made history by becoming the first V6 engine car to win a Formula One Grand Prix. But this racing car was not just a machine, it was an emotion, a passion, and a tribute to the fallen hero of the Ferrari dynasty, Alfredo Dino Ferrari. The V6 engine used in the car was named after Enzo Ferrari's beloved son, Dino, who had tragically passed away due to muscular dystrophy at the age of 24. Ferrari's chief engineer, Vittorio Giano, poured his heart and soul into the creation of this car. And boy, did this car pack a punch? It was incredibly light, weighing in at only 1,235 pounds. Even today in the racing world, people remember this car that defied the odds, rewrote the rules of racing, and captured the hearts of millions. Number 7. Ferrari 250 Testarossa Meet the Ferrari 250 Testarossa, the champion of champions. This car is a true legend, having clinched not one, not two, but three overall victories at the grueling Le Mans 24-hour race in 1958, 1960, and 1961. It was these triumphant wins that paved the way for the constructors' titles. But it's not just about the wins, it was also innovative. The first series of Testarossas featured a radical pontoon bodywork designed by the legendary modernese fabricator Sergio Scaglietti. This unique design included scooped-out front wings for improved brake cooling. With its stunning design, this car is more than just a machine, it's a statement. Now let's talk about what really matters, performance. Back in 1957, the Testarossa was powered by a 3-liter V12 gasoline engine that didn't rely on forced induction. Despite its age, this engine allowed the car to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4 seconds and reached a top speed of 167 miles per hour. That's right, over six decades ago, this car was breaking records. Number 6. Ferrari 333 SP In the world of racing, there are a few names that inspire as much passion and admiration as Ferrari. And yet, when it comes to the Ferrari 333 SP, there's a story that's often overlooked. It's the car that made history by dominating the famous 12 Hours of Sebring Endurance Race, not once, but twice in 1995 and 1997. When it comes to the engine, we call it a true marvel of engineering. Developed by the Italian race company Dallara and built by Ferrari, the 333 SP's chassis and engine were a match made in heaven. The 4-liter V12 mil derived from the Ferrari 641 that won six races in the 1990 F1 Championship produced an astonishing 650 horsepower at a sky-high 11,000 RPM without a turbocharger and spitting out monstrous flames. No doubt, with its incredible speed, jaw-dropping power, and spine-tingling roar, this car is truly one of the greatest machines ever to grace the track. Number 5. Ferrari F2004 Let me take you back in time to the golden era of Formula One racing, when the roar of the engines echoed through the tracks and the smell of burning rubber filled the air. There was one car that dominated the competition, a machine that left its rivals quaking in their boots. That car was the Ferrari F2004. This wasn't just any car. 
This was one of the most successful Formula One cars of all time. And who better to take it to glory than the legendary Michael Schumacher, one of the greatest drivers in history? With 15 out of 18 race victories under his belt, the F2004 dominated the 2004 season, showing the world what true racing mastery looks like. It was a car built for greatness, with a V10 engine that still sends shivers down the spine of racing enthusiasts to this day. But it wasn't just the car that made it a champion. The F2004 represented the pinnacle of a triumphant era at Ferrari, led by the brilliant minds of Rory Bryan and Ross Braun, and of course, the incomparable Michael Schumacher. Together, they won six consecutive Constructors' Championships and five consecutive Drivers' Championships, an achievement that remains unparalleled. Number 4. Ferrari 312T In the mid-70s, the racing world was shaken up by the introduction of the 312T. Equipped with a transverse-mounted gearbox and a flat-12 engine, the 312 was a reliable powerhouse capable of producing up to 500 base horsepower. Its sleek design and innovative engineering made it a dominant force in Formula One, winning 27 races and three Constructors' Championships between 1975 and 1980. But it was not just the car, it was the man behind the wheel that truly made the 312T a legend. Enter Nicky Lauda, a man who would go down in history as one of the greatest drivers of all time. However, in the 1976 season at the Nuremberg Ring, Lauda suffered a near-fatal crash. It was a moment that shook the world of racing and left many wondering if Lauda would ever return to the track. But this was no ordinary man, and the 312T was no ordinary car. Lauda made a remarkable comeback, returning to the track just six weeks after his accident and finishing fourth at Monza. It was a moment that sent shockwaves throughout the racing world and cemented the 312T's place in history. Number 3. Ferrari 156 Shark Nose a racing car that became a legend in its own time before meeting a tragic end. In 1961, Ferrari unleashed the shark nose upon the world, and it quickly became the talk of the town. With its sleek design and unmatched performance, it left its competitors in the dust, winning five out of eight Grand Prix races that season. It was a technological marvel, with a V6 engine that produced over 190 horsepower and propelled the car to speeds of over 180 miles per hour. But the shark nose glory was short-lived, during the Monza race, Von Tripp suffered a fatal crash that took the lives of 14 spectators. It was a tragedy that shook the racing world to its core and left Enzo Ferrari reeling. He ordered the destruction of all 156s, with some parts allegedly mixed into the concrete for a new factory floor. Despite the dark cloud hanging over its legacy, the shark nose's impact on the world of Formula One cannot be denied. Number 2. The 1971 Ferrari 512M in the 1970s, the world witnessed one of the greatest rivalries in motorsports history between Ferrari and Porsche at Le Mans. And at the forefront of this legendary battle was the Ferrari 512M, a car that became an icon of racing. With a massive V12 engine that produced over 600 horsepower, the 512M was a force to be reckoned with on the track. However, Ferrari was not alone in its pursuit of glory. Porsche had its own contender in the form of the 917, a car that had already proven its worth on the track, winning the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1970 and 1971. The stage was set for an epic showdown between the two giants of motorsport. In 1971, the two cars went head-to-head -head at Le Mans in a race that would go down in history as one of the greatest in the sport's history. The lead changed hands multiple times throughout the race, and the intensity and drama were palpable. Steve McQueen, a racing enthusiast himself, was inspired by the fierce competition between Ferrari and Porsche and set out to make a movie that would capture the essence of the race. The result was Le Mans, a film that is still regarded as one of the greatest racing movies of all time. Number 1. 1966 Ferrari 330 P3 and P4 Here comes the story of the most beautiful racing car of all time, the Ferrari 330 P3-4. It was the mid-1960s, and Enzo Ferrari was facing a challenge. He wanted to beat the unbeatable Ford GT40 at the 24 Hours of Le Mans, so he called upon his chief engineer, Mario Forgheri, to create the car that would make history. And so the Ferrari 330 P3-4 was born. Its debut at the 1966 24 Hours of Daytona was a fierce battle against the GT40, and while it came in second, it had already made its mark on the racing world. But Ferrari was not satisfied with second place. 
They continued to refine and improve the P3, and in 1967, they introduced the P4, a faster, more powerful version of the already legendary racing machine. The P4 went on to dominate the racing world, winning the 1967 Daytona 24 and both the Monza 1000 km races in 1967 and 1968. But it's the design that truly makes the Ferrari 330 P3-4 one of the greatest racing cars ever produced. Every curve, every line, and every detail was meticulously crafted to perfection. It's not just a car, it's a masterpiece, an ode to beauty and speed, a symphony of metal and art, and a true testament to the limitless potential of human engineering. All these are not just eight cars, but these are eight chapters of the glorious history of the racing world. And these are the symbol of the never-ending pursuit of excellence and innovation that has defined Ferrari for over a half a century.